Hello and welcome back everybody to another episode here and we are about to end off year two of the regular season. Patrick Sandoval taking the mound here is the final week of year two about to take pace. And the Angels, they are trying to find a way to clinch a playoff spot here as they're getting oh so close. And Mike Trout eager to play some playoff baseball once again. He's only done it once in his career, and that's sitting at 33, turning almost 34 years old. He cannot waste this man's opportunity for a chance at a title. Now, Mike Trout, he has done everything pretty much individually that you can besides winning it all. And this year, he's on pace for a career year, almost at 50 home runs. He is just living the life here. And the Angels are falling suit. 51 home runs, I should say, now, actually. Over 50 for the first time in his career. On a 1-2 count. Bottom half. He tries to go deep here. This one is... Caught at the wall. Look for home run number 52. As he's trying to add on to his AL home run lead title. 0 for 5 in this series so far. 0 for 1 today. And Gilbert right back up the middle. Yeah, you better duck. That's going to be at least an RBI there. And that's going to tie things up. 115 miles an hour off the bat. Mike Trout, his power unmatched. Gilbert. Man, that one was a little bit more to the right. I would have hit him square on. He was slow to react. Only a 5.79 relaunch all right that one's a screamer Taylor Ward 0 for 1 on the day my trout no way you're gonna pick us off nice try there Gilbert more like Gilbert scrape Gilbert Godfrey come on come on here we go we got it oh he strikes out but we're safe yeah we knew it come on now my trout you can't stop him he is unstoppable. Logan Ahape. A nice young catcher to build this team around. The Phillies. Gave him up. And he's had a great two years here in our franchise. He's had some clutch hits. But he's going to get thrown out on the ground out here. As Seattle. Holds off the run support. Now Mike Trout. Hard hitter. Right between third and short. And that's going to be two on with one out now. Mike Trout, two for three on the day. And he's giving some fans something to cheer about there. He's got to be careful. Stepping forwards. Can't be celebrating too hard. Get picked off at first. Oh, that would be something. And bases are now loaded for the Angels here. And the final home game of the year. The Angels looking to try and find a way to get a win. And get some hype into the playoff run. Uh, on an 0-2 count, this one is going to drop. One run in. Trout scores. Two runs in in the bottom half of the fifth. Angels add on here. And who else? Who else but Ohape? Now 6-2. My Trout with the OPS over 1,000. 2 for 3 on the day. Owen White's. Leaves a pitch, but that one's lined right at the left fielder. No chance there to drop. Now, 8-3 to three in the bottom half, and this fastball just a little bit under. It might be going, but it's going to be caught just in front of the wall. And Mike Trout ends up going 2-5. for five. Now, the Angels look to win the final regular season. Series at home in year two. Next game, next playoff lock we're going to have here is the Angels tie up this series. One game apiece. Patrick Sandvold gets his 12th win of the year. Logan Gilbert gets the loss, his 14th. And the Angels are going to try to find a way here to win a series against the Mariners. Last home game of the year. And playoff baseball just around the corner as the 87 and 71 Angels taking on the 80 and 78 Seattle Mariners here. 
Angel Stadium. It's a thing of uh, beauty. Mike Trout trying to lead this team by himself. He's had some help offensively this year, but he is the main face of this franchise and probably will be for years to come if they keep making the playoffs. Casey Mize, he's made 31 starts this year, making his 30 seconds. ERA 3.11, whip 1.28, and 143 strikeouts and 185 innings pitch. So he doesn't strike out a whole lot of batters, but he does a good job of limiting runs. And Zach Neto having a career season with 73 RBIs, 20 home runs. What an add on. This one a little looper, and this is going to drop in front of the left fielder. So his first attempt at the day, he's one for one. Just ahead of that slider, but that drops in. Zach Neto. And another young, promising shortstop to keep an eye on. He could have a bright future in Angels white and red. Mike Trout retires. Maybe he and Chanuel will have to share a face of the franchise duties. Now a full count, Brett Batty. Oh, and Zach Neto, no, you're not going to pick him off. Come on now. He's not as fast as Mike Trout, but he is pretty sneaky on the base pass. And he is up there in team steals. That's going to be a walk batty. Nice vision at the plate. Definitely improved. Austin Martin, 11 home runs on a 1-2 count with two outs, no outs. And he strikes out Austin Martin. He's been a solid addition here for us. Liked what we got out of him at the deadline and in year two, his first full season. Um, he hasn't been a huge difference maker, but he's done enough for us to say, all right, he can stay up full time. And Shanuel, it's this one deep, it's back. Just short of the warning track. So Neto will tie it up and he goes to third. Runners on the corners now with two outs. As the Angels trying to break this tie. Mickey Moniak walked in the first. 93 RBIs this year. He's having a heck of an offensive season. Someone that's found his groove. But he strikes out here. As he's loving life in LA. Just did not work out in Philly. Now bottom half of the fourth. Neto. He gets a hold of this one. It's back. It's back. And it is off the wall. And he's got a double. He is two for two. Zach Neto. His 26th double of the year. My goodness, he got a hold of that one. Right in the gap. Center fielder has speed, but too slow there. Julio Rodriguez cannot get things done. Zach Neto. Year three, I think he could possibly reach 100 RBIs. Brett Batty, full count, walked earlier. Chance to do the same again. Hitting 226. And has some pop, but this one right to the shortstop. What a play. But he can't get him. He's safe in field hit for Brett Batty. Oh, that's a big, big, big play. 1-2 count, Austin Martin trying to find a way to get some offense going. Right back up the middle, this one, not in time. And, oh, too aggressive on the base pass here. We try, we thought they were going for the double play, but they throw it home. Moniak, 2 RBI double. He's up to 95 now. Now some defensive opportunities for Neto and he has done a fire a bullet here. Not even close and that ends the top of the fifth. Bottom six we go. And on first, no outs, 2-2 two -two counts. Mauricio Lovella gets him on the change up, strikes him out. Two for three now on the day. Angels, bottom eight, still up by two, Zach Neto. He gets a hold of this one, but it's not going to be deep enough. The hard thrower, to Ryan Stanek, 99 miles an hour. Soft contact there. And Monty at another RBI double. My goodness, this guy's been clutch. Ben Joyce, 
He's had a rough year out of the bullpen. His control has kind of been all over the place. I don't know what we're going to do with him. If we hold on and try and fix him or if he's going to be a valuable trade chip. But he's just got that velocity. It's so hard to get rid of. As the defense is here on show. Luis Arias, one for three on the day. Ben Joyce, one pitch. 2-2 one, one, one. count. And Zach Neto. Ooh, we almost missed that one. Would have been bad. Right into the dugout. My goodness. All right, come on now. We're feeling it. We got it. And we win this series as the Angels celebrate in style their last regular season home game they win the series against the division rival and that's 88 wins now on the year for the los angeles angels and that's a big difference from year one when we only won 73 games the angels are showing vast signs of improvement here and now we got the athletics chance to get to the 90 wins Right to 89, Matt Allen gets the win. Moniak and Neto with home runs. Zach Neto, four RBIs, adding on to his career season. Matt Allen pitched a gem there. Nice to see. All right. And yet Shane Bieber, ooh. He gets roughed up a bit here by the A's. Renfido, Ward, Trout, Ohape with home runs. All right, a little offensive showcase here in Oakland. Robert Hassel goes two for four. Carroll goes two for four. Average up to 314. And he's going to be a solid backup for us next year. And looking at the standings, looks like we're going to be facing the Astros in the playoffs. Trying to get to the 90 win mark here against Oakland. And Oakland Coliseum. It is a sight to behold. And it's probably going to be a relic. Unless they decide to tear it down. But they're going to have no more sports teams in Oakland. And you got Victor Medeiros. He had a strong start to the year. But he is starting to fall apart here late. See if he can try and come back and get his groove going in the last regular season game of the year. And the A's are going to Mike Vasil. Making his 33rd start. ERA just over 4. Whip 1.38. 166 strikeouts. All right, and Chanuel, 71 RBIs. He's having a career season. Seeing if he can add on, keep improving every year. We're hoping he could probably get to 30 home runs next year. But not everyone can hit 30. We'll be fine with 25. As he gets a hold of this one slider right down the middle, and it is over the center fielder's head. So he's got a leadoff double. Center fielder was not playing him deep enough. Uh, and Shanuel is 29th double of the year now. As that one gets smoked here at Ricky Henderson Field. Oh, ho, ho. Man, if only it was just enough. That could have been a nice solo shot to start things off. Just not enough power. Now Moniac hitting 281. He tries to go into the left field gap. This one back, back, back. Over the heads of the outfielders. And that's an RBI double. Moniak. His season is just one to behold here. His 43rd RBI double. Man, this guy just is a double hitting machine. And center fielder. Already out of breath here in the first two hitters. Just can't find a way to catch up to the ball. Mike Trout. Hitting over 300. And he smokes this fastball, but lines it right at the right fielder. 104 miles an hour off the bat. Almost took off the right fielder's head for the first out. Now looking at the lineup, Angels have led the AL in home runs this year, 245. That is an impressive feat right there, to say the least. And Mike Trout, a big part of that. Oof. Love the way this offense exploded this year. Now Tyron Paris, he draws a walk, getting some gameplay in. He's struggled since his call up. Brett Batty, 1-1 one, one count, hitting 228. And he tries to go in right field gap, but this one hangs too much and it's caught. So Moniac tags up and he's going to advance to third. 
So runners on the corners with two outs in the top of the first here. And Jefferson Carroll, 3-1 counts. The pitch, and he's going to draw a walk. He's got lovely vision for a young catcher. Louis Renfido, 2 0 counts, and he hits one hard. This one will drop one run in the end. Make that two, and Renfido thinks about going to second. And he stops and he heads back to first, and he's safe. And that's a big hit for Renfido. 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 However, you want to pronounce it. I prefer Renfido. But I'm probably butchering it as hell. Austin Martin having his first full season in the majors, but he's taught looking there. Fastball outside corner gets him. But the Angels offense, three runs, three hits to start things off here against the lowly athletics who have struggled mightily in the first two years trying to rebuild and turn things around. Now Victor Medeiros, 15 games this year, 5-6 and six record. 6.28 ERA. Oh man, oh man. Hopefully we can find a way to get him going here. Zach Galloff, 23 home runs, a career year. Oh, and he draws a walk on a 3-0 count. Man, oh man. Now you got Ryan Noda, power from the left side. And the man taken in the Rule 5 draft is going to go back-to-back -back bases here is the athletics we're trying to tie things up and Alex Bregman a former Astro strikes out there tries to get his man at first but no does not catch him lacking there his first strikeout of the day Brent Rooker 97 home runs he gets a chance Martin spin throw gets him now runner second and third with two outs Medeiros Trying to avoid any runs coming in. Clark Elliott hitting 248, the highlighted man in the lineup. He is going to hit a grounder. Soderstrom is not going to get it done. The Angels, through one inning, lead 3 0 on three hits. And Robert Hassel, a third, is going to lead off the number nine hitter. 1 2 counts. Chops 1 to second, and he is going to ground out to get things started here. Man, oh man, we didn't see too much from him this year, but maybe in year three, we'll get to see a little more. Shaniwell will chop this change up, and he drowns out. First two man up, first two gone here in the top of the second. Moniak on a 2-1 count. He pops up this fastball, and the Angels go 1-2-3. As the offense cannot reproduce what they did in the first inning. As we go to the bottom half here. Angels still trying to hold on to a lead. Brian De La Cruz. Full count. The pitch. Strikes him out. Slider gets him. Ooh, who, who is second strike out of the day? That one has some filth on it. Now Calvin Alcantara. Former Cub. He is going to go right back up the middle. And Hassel is there. Gets it back in quickly. So that's a one-out single for Oakland here in the bottom half. Now Clark Elliott, youngster, trying to prove himself in the majors. Tries to go through third, but that's going to be a double play started by Brett Batty, who has looked very well defensively. As the Angels hold Oakland to zero runs through two innings of work, thanks to some solid pitching and some nice defensive effort. From the Angels. Now we go top third. Mike Trout had a screamer last time, and this one is going back. Hit back. And caught along the wall. It is caught by the La La Cruz. This one nice effort in the outfield defensively. Doesn't worry about making contact with the wall. Kind of gets stuck on there like stucco. Brett Batty trying to keep the inning alive. And this one caught. Angels go 1, 2, 3, 6 straight. Retired now for LA. So the offense is starting to dry up here a little bit. And now Oakland trying to make a comeback attempt after some solid pitching. 
has given a chance to make a comeback, but Caro on the pop-up is there. He makes a nice routine play from the catcher position. Back to the top of the order. Zach Geloff, one-two count. Slider gets him swinging wildly. Two up, two down to start things off. Medeiros looking solid here. His third strikeout. As Geloff just did not know where this ball was going. And tries to defend the plates. But this one low and outside. Now Ryan Noda. Some power from the left side. Hits one. Right to Shanuel. And Oakland goes one, two, three. So go in the top half with LA still holding on to a lead, trying to add on. And they go one, two, three once again. Nine straight retired. So Oakland trying to get something going offensively. Not gonna happen. Shanuel playing solid defense at first base. Does not let that get by him. And Medeiros is there to help him out. Leadoff man is retired. 1-1 one, one count. Brent Rooker. He's going to hit a grounder to Paris. Playing short today. Makes the play. Routine. Two up, two down. Tyler Soderstrom. 1-1 <clears throat> one, one counts. Right back up the middle. Paris dives and he can't get it. So that's a two-out single as Oakland tries to keep the pressure on here. And a full count. Brian De La Cruz. Victor Medeiros trying to use the speed fastball, and he gets him 98 miles an hour, right up high, strikes him out. That's Oakland. It's yet to found a way to get runners in when they have men on base, and it's still 3-0 for your Angels. Top of the fifth, Moniak, one for two on the day. He gets a hold of this fastball. It's going. It's going. It is out of here. 102 mile an hour fastball. Exit velocity. Oh, ho, ho. Moniak, his 26th home run of the year. 437 feet. And it's 4 nothing now. As the Angels add on to their home run totals. Trout gives Moniak some love. That one was smoked. And he's got to be getting close to the 100 RBI mark. What a season for Moniak. Former second overall pick. And he's finally found his groove, escaping the bus label. Now a 2-1 count, Paris. Trout, after a walk, is going to take the 12-6 curve. And this one is out of here. A hanging pitch, and Paris says, see you later. He hits this one out of here. A two-run shot, three runs in now. Muller gives up a home run. His first blast of the year, Kyron Paris. Has not shown off his power since being called up, but he does here. We know he has it. He just has struggled a little bit since his call up, but hey, it's finally happening. Brett Batty now, 0 for 2 on the day, facing the lefty. Muller hits a chopper to first, and two outs now as Angels trying to add on. Just can't do it there. Caro. 0 for 1 with a walk. Trying to get on base for the first time today. With a hit instead of a walk. But hey, chopper to third. Bregman, he's solid. Makes the play. Angels are retired, but they double their lead. It's 6 nothing now. As the Angels offense shows up. 2-2 Two -two count to Alcantara. And he goes off Bo Taco into right field. And gone over the scoreboard. It's six to one now. The shutout is gone. Alcantara double digits, 373 feet, and into right field. That one was a shot. Alcantara, former Cub top prospect, getting some playing time in Oakland here. On Washington, Haynes's head. Clark Elliott, O2 count, strikes out. 99 miles an hour. Medeiros answers back in style. 2-2 two -two count. Nick Allen is going to pop one up here into foul territory. And they are going to make the catch. Brett Batty. All the time in the world there. My goodness. Zach Geloff now. 1-1 one -one count. Trying to keep Dean's going. But Paris is there. Calm, cool, and collected. Retires the inning. 
Oakland gets on the board here with Alcantara's Oppo Taco shots. Showing off some raw power there from the big outfielder. Oof. Man, oh man. 1-1 one, one count now. Bottom eighth. Sam Bachman is going to give up a shot to Zach Geloff here. Sam Bachman, someone that we did call it from AAA. With their expanded rosters, so we wanted to see what he could do, but first man he faces. All home runs. Zach Geloff. Oof. That's another young, promising infielder there. One of Oakland's faces. They're going to build around for years to come as he tries to stare down the pitcher. But man, Bachman is too busy admiring that long shot into left field. And Luis Patino now comes in for his 40th appearance. ERA just over four. Trying to find a way. Shut things down. 2 1 counts. This one in left field. Rudenfido makes the catch. And the Angels win. The last game of the year. They get to 90 wins now on the year. An impressive feat. Almost 20 more wins than the year one. This Angels franchise is going the right way. As Oakland looks on helplessly. But hey, they still have lots of rebuilding to do. The Angels might be a team on the rise now. That is beautiful. Now looking at the season we had. My Trouts, 52 home runs, 130 RBIs. On base percentage just below 400. Anthony Santander, just under 300. Moniac, 100 RBIs on the year. Taylor Ward, 24 home runs. Ohape, 23. Zedone, 21. Chenuel, 20. Renfido, Martin, Anderson, Madrigal, Paris, Caro. All right. Definitely liked our offensive season we've had. Now, Shane Bieber. Man, oh man, what a free agent sign we got out of him. Former Cy Young winner, and he may win another. Ray Detmers has a breakout year, 2.60 ERA. Casey Mize, quiet at the deadline, pretty solid. Patrick Sandoval, 385. Maderos, please act. Still Seth, ERA is all above 5. Bullpen, Ben Joyce, ERA a little bit inflated. Jimmy Hudert looks solid. Jose Leclerc. 38 saves on the year. Alright. Now looking at the lead leaders. Nathaniel Lowe. 207 doubles. Duran had 50. Moniak 43. Triples. Evan Carter had 13. Now Mike Trout beat out Aaron Judge. 52-49. to 49. Matt Olson. 47 in the NL. RBIs. Cedar had 145. Oof, man, oh man. Corey Cedar, I tell ya. Stolen bases, Kyle Tucker, 57. Corey Cedar. Slugging percentage, Mike Trout. OPS, Corey Cedar. Mike Trout, seconds, wins. Shane Bieber had three more wins than any other AL pitcher. Behind him, ERA, Tariq Skubal. Reed Detmers right behind him. Kyle Bradish, Derek Hole. Drew Rasmussen, 16. Reed Detmers, 16. Tied for home runs allowed. Derek Cole led with shutouts, strikeouts, Dylan Cease. Shane Bieber, 183 in the top 10. Innings pitch, Shane Bieber, top 5. All right, all right, all right. So honestly, year 2 was quite a difference major for L.A., as we hope to build off this and build the Angels up here in this franchise. And we will see you guys in the playoffs. Till next time, people. Bye.